This week we're looking at the question, why am I doing this? And in Acts chapter 18, verse 3, we read that Paul is a tent maker. Now you might think, what is he doing as a tent maker when he's trying to reach the whole world? How does he have time for that? Why is he spending time in that job? Well, Aquila and Priscilla can relate, and a lot of people can relate, that there's a job where you pour 40, 50 hours into, and you're still trying to reach people for the Lord. And how do you balance that all? Well, it's important that he was a tent maker because number one, we gotta pay the bills, that's spiritual. And so he was using his gifts and abilities along those lines, and then also at the workplace, uh, you can meet more people. But he didn't want it to be a financial burden on other people to support him. So all this has the gospel in mind, but here's the big picture. Why are you doing your job? What's underneath it? What's the motivation and the purpose? And when I read the scripture, I read that the glory of God covers the whole earth. And then how does that happen? Well, in individual lives, you're bringing glory to God in different locations. So I'm asking you in the place, and maybe it's a job or just a role where you put all your time into that role, parenting, are you so clear that the reason you're there is to glorify God and you feel part of bringing his glory along with everyone else in, in all over the city, all over the community, and that's your station to bring him glory. See, when that's primary, then you work harder, you have a good attitude, you rely on him for strength, and the difference is noticeable. So why are you doing this? Run that through your workplace. Think about Paul's attempt maker. Be encouraged today to glorify God right where he's placed you.